Pull right there, there. Dr. Yeah, Jeff, oh, yeah. I don't know. I can feel it right there. There's the, there's the biggest one right there. That's so frustrating. So you're going to take a nice deep breath in and let it relax. Oh, wow. Drop your shoulders. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello, Baltimore. It's Dr. Jeff Kalstein with Kalstein Chiropractic Office, your Baltimore area chi chiropractor. And I'm with Maddie today. Maddie, how long have you been working with us? Oh, almost two years now. Two years. Yep. And you're a student right now at uh, TU? Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, what's your degree in? <laughs> I teach Criminal about this justice. All the time. Criminal justice, yeah. You know, it was nursing when I, when, I was, when I first got hired here, and then so, I switched paths. Yeah. So we have a way of guiding people into their true profession, and a lot of times it turns out to be there, and they go to chiropractic school. But Maddie wants to, but you want to be, become a lawyer, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I want to go to law school. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. That's yes. all right. You can help a lot of people that way Absolutely. too, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll work with you. There you PI go. PI cases. There you go. Yeah, we take care of those also. So t let me ask you, um, what, what brings you in to the treatment room today? What's bothering you? Um, my thoracic spine. Your thoracic spine. Mm -hmm. That's her mid-back, for those of you who don't know. Go ahead and turn around. Neck, mid-back, mid low back, SI joints. So this is her thoracic spine. How long has it been bothering you for, Maddie? Easily going on to three weeks now. Three weeks, yeah. With no relief. And, and do you remember how it started? I woke up one morning. Yeah, so sometimes I call that, I don't write, I woke up with it, I write down insidious. You're really not sure what happened. No, I'm not, but I will also say that I was working the front desk and I just wasn't focused on my posture. So mm -hmm. I think that could have been a um, cause as well. Because you don't always work at the front desk. No. You, you, you wear... Running around you do, usually. You wear... You're, Cross train, you wear the hat that's in the back, training care of patients yes. sometimes, and up front too. So, mm -hmm. okay, all right. So, um, is is the it, we kind of before I got in here, we were sort of talking about this a little bit. It's not pain so much, but it's more discomfort. Discomfort, tightness, yeah. just oh, feels. Is bad. it there every day? Yes. Lately, is it getting worse? No, it, it would, I would say it's staying the same, but it's not mm -hmm. getting better. Okay, okay, okay. And the least amount of discomfort you have during the day and the most amount you have during the day on a scale of 0 to 10, 0, no, 10, you're... 2, least, 6, uh, most. Most, yeah. What, what is it right now after working yes, all day? Yes, Yeah, is it more towards that 5, 6 range? Yeah. Okay. What makes it worse? This yeah. motion. Go, going into thoracic yes. extension? extension. Yeah. yeah, what else? Deflection. Or, or just like going back to my normal posture. Posture, okay. Standing long periods of time make it worse? Standing, no. No? I would say sitting. When you wake up in the morning? Yes. Okay, all right. And you're, you're out of school right now. Were you doing a mini-mester or anything like that? No. No, okay. So do you, how many hours a week do you think you're s a week? reading, I studying? Um, no, uh, yeah. none <laughs> right now, yeah. honestly. Papers? Um, no. Exams? Oh, that's all over it's with. It's all over with, okay. yeah. Okay, all right. What, what makes you feel better? And hot showers help hot showers. compared to a heating pad. Okay. Um, so moist heat. Mm -hmm. um, rolling it out with a lacrosse ball against the wall. Yeah. And Do you just learn some massages. Of those tricks so you, you, you haven't been adjusted for when's I, the middle of December, maybe one more time after that? Mm -hmm. What was within the last two weeks maybe or no? Yes. Okay, okay. Anything else bother you? No, I mean, the really only thing that is killing me is I'll go to stretch because like it really feels like I need to stretch. Yeah. And then and, and do you feel I like return... you get to the point where you feel it blocked um, or restricted? Like I can't go anymore. Like yeah. that's my range of motion. And that's just, that's uncomfortable like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Face me this way. Let's have you just turn your head to the left as far as you can go. Good. Any discomfort? Go this way for me. Any discomfort? Yep. With your mouth closed, bring your chin down to your chest all the way. Any discomfort there? I'm going to put a little light pressure here. You tell mm -hmm. me if that's uncomfortable anywhere, okay? How about that? Does that bother you? Um, maybe a C7. Right yep, yep, okay. Ben, look up at the sky. Any discomfort there? Yeah, where? Same spot? C7, C7. T1. But, but not down in that mid-back region. No. Yeah, so go back again. No, I don't think so. So if I load that a little bit and I'm going to go light, does that increase it? Uh-huh. Yeah. So come over this way? Yes. Does that increase it? Uh-huh. What side's that on? That, that side. And then come over here this way. Does that bother it? Mm-hmm. What side? That side. That side, yeah. So those are, you know, so, so we do all these 
test and range of motion, things like that. We're really trying to find out what's generating the discomfort. Is the discomfort from um, the, a disc injury possibly, or is it coming from a joint, or that joint sometimes is called a facet joint through most of the body. There are two joints in the body, uh, Maddie, facet joints, one on each side, and then down on your pelvis, there's the sacroiliac joint, right? Yes, yes. So, um, so stand up nice and tall, arms to your side, tilt this way. Does that bother you at all? Stretch. Yeah. And the third thing that we sometimes is a pain generator, it's soft tissue, muscle, fascial pain. Does that bother you at all? Yeah. What side? Here. Yeah, so more so on that side. I, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. So take your arm and just lift it over your head like that for me. No problem there, right? No. Same thing, yeah. Now, one at a time, palm out towards me, lift it over your head that way, all the way up. No problem, right? Yeah, she's got really great, I'm jealous. I wish I could move as, I wish my range of motion was that complete like yours. Does that bother you at all? No. Go this way. Does that bother you at all? No. No. Go straight back. Does that bother anything? No. No, not your thoracic spine right now? Mm -mm. No, good. So this, so I'm doing a, I'm looking at her neck and her low back right now. None low of those bother. No, no problem, right? Low back. What side? Going that way? Midline. Midline, okay. Let's have you, Bilateral. I want you to lie on your tummy for me. And so we probably should take that off. Also, fun fact, guys, this is Dr. Jeff's first time adjusting me. <laughs> does, that, does that mean you're going to chiropractic school? Because sometimes that's what happens. And, and you go ahead and lean in. And then we have your arms up to the pads. Yep. You haven't had any falls or anything, have you? No. No. And slide up a little bit right there is good. Okay. And I'm going to do one more thing when we're done. I want to check your ability to bend forward, too. So, and we're just going to do a little palpation. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for restriction in this glide from back to front that I'm going through. I'm taking my fingertips and walking up every level. See, like... Right there, Maddie. I, yeah, yeah uh -huh. that, that one doesn't want to move as freely as the other ones, okay? So to me, that's a, that's a restricted area uh, or an area that's locked up. Technically, uh, we would call that a hypomobile segment. There's, a, there's another one right there. Yeah, you got a couple right of there, there. Dr. Yeah, Jeff, yeah, I don't know. I can feel it right there. There's the, there's the biggest one right there. That's so frustrating. Yeah, I got it. Now, so just let's have, we'll just play a game here mm -hmm. a little bit. If if I put some pressure between your spinous processes, is that painful right there? Yes. Yes. How how about this one? Mm-hmm. Which one more? That this one. this one here mm -hmm. or this one? I think the lower one. This one right here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how about this one mm -hmm. compared to the one above? Um, the, the kind of the same? Both. Yeah. yeah, equal. So what happens is there are nerve endings that go to the facet joint. The name of that nerve is the medial branch of the dorsal rami. So when the facet joints, those are the hinges that allow motion to occur, become restricted and congested, they irritate that nerve. And that nerve also goes to the, in this area right between your between the uh, inner spinal space. So, so that that just kind of confirms that we've got an area that functionally isn't moving the way it should, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and the way we get that is that the spot right in there? Yeah, and the one you just pressed before that. Yeah. So the, the way we with the way we address that is we're gonna we're gonna adjust that, right? Now, I know you've been adjusted by some of the docs in the office. Do they adjust you with your face down and push down, or do they take you over to the table back there and adjust you with your hands over your head? Um, I've been adjusted both ways, and, but and typically face down. Which one do you find to be the most effective? Um, probably face down. Face down, okay, all right. So you think it's a nerve is what you're saying? No, I think, I think is, again, we talk about pain generation, I think it, it primarily is you have those hinges, and just so happens we have a halfway decent looking spine in here. 
and I'll show you, so we'll zero in on this. And, and, and again, this is a low back vertebrae, okay? It's larger than your thoracic vertebrae, but the anatomy is pretty much the same. The vertebral body, between each vertebral body or bone is a disc, and the disc has two parts to it. It has the outer fibers and the nucleus pulposus in the middle. This is the jelly-like structure, and this is the connective tissue, if you will, okay? So if, if those fibers become irritated or deranged, it makes them weaker, and this stuff is under a lot of pressure. It starts to push those out. If that's allowed to continue, you can have back pain because there are nerve fibers mm -hmm. that go into the first, the outer half of the disc. So if those fibers tear, you'll, you can have back pain. Mm -hmm. But really, a lot of times they start to tear from the inside and they work mm -hmm. out. And there's a lot of stress there, but there's no pain. But finally, it crosses, crosses right. that threshold and all of a sudden you're going, oh, I got back pain again. So that's one region you could have pain. It, it comes from the disc. We, the second would be in the back part of the spine, where the structure from above and the structure from below articulate or join, that's the hinge, just like the hinge in my finger or the joint in my finger, I say hinge, it's a joint, okay? It's, if I took cellophane and wrapped it around there a bunch of times, that would represent the ligament. And the purpose of that ligament is to allow the joint to move just so much, not too much, right? Just the right amount, all right? And then, they, they created a, an opening down through the spine this way and they created an opening on each side of the spine. That's your spinal cord, that's your nerve root. Off of that main nerve gives a, a fiber, like a telephone wire to your house, but like in the old days. And that nerve that goes to that hinge is called the medial branch of the dorsal ramen. It's sensory. What's unique about that, there are small muscles that attach from your transverse process, that's this bone right here, to your spinous process, and that muscle is called the multifidi. Uh -huh. So what happens is the medial branch nerve gets irritated, mm -hmm. sends signals to your brain, spray says, I don't like this. It's in response, sends signals down to that multifidi muscle, and it creates this stuck or fixated mm. segment, right? Mm -hmm. So that we call that dysfunction in our office, right? Mm -hmm. So really, it's like Goldilocks. If you look over here, this, this is supple movement, just like that. So when I'm pressing on your mid-back, mm -hmm. I'm right in the middle, I'm right on these segments mm -hmm. right here, and I'm walking down with my finger on each side of that spinous process, and I'm just pushing in. I, I, here's what I want to see. I want to feel this. Mm -hmm. Supple, right? What I don't want to feel, and this is an exaggeration a little bit, I don't want to feel like this is blocked mm -hmm. or like that. So at, at your age, it's still pretty supple, but I can still find it. It's very obvious to mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. Now, if I was on that table, right, at my age, I would, <laughs> be, I would be more like this, right? right? Right. So I'm a heck of a lot more of a challenge, for the most part, than you, right? Yes. So you'd have to take me apart and get uh, have a different strategy for yes. someone like me than, than you. So, and then the other extreme, so it's Goldilocks again, just right, Okay. too cold, mm -hmm. On that side, that's hypo, fixated, locked up, does not move right. Over there is either a car accident mm -hmm. or a sports injury where we've actually, remember I said we had cellophane around there? Yes. We've actually had so much force delivered to that segment that it tears that soft tissue. And if it tears it enough, uh, that protective mechanism is, is gone. And guess what? It becomes not hypo, it becomes hyper. hyper. The people who are on this side of Goldilocks mm -hmm. really, with the right treatment, respond very well. These folks over here, that's a different story. That's a different kind of challenge, right? So with these people, we try to stabilize the supporting tissue right. above and below that area so it can heal as best it can, mm -hmm. right? So that's a long story short. I, I know you, d you just want to get adjusted. No, I like it. I like it. <laughs> so let's, let's do this, though. Have you had an adjustment with your hands over your head lately? Yes. And who gave? And, and was it was it a good experience or not a good experience? Fine experience. Let's let's start with that, okay? Let's go do that with the hands overhead okay. down the hallway, okay? So, Maddie, stand right here for me. There's one thing I want to check that I didn't do in your low back range of motion. Let me, let me see you put a couple inches between your ankles. Yep. Then less than that, about half. So, from this position, what I want you to do is I want you to just bend down and touch your toes, drop your head all the way down. Yeah. Good. Okay. 
Okay, come on back up for me. So one more time, bend down again for me, all the way down. And I'm gonna just lower this down a little bit up here so I can see what I wanna see. I'm just looking to see if she has a little bit of thoracic curvature and she might have a just <gasps> I do. tiny bit up there, yeah. And I'm gonna do I one more thing, scoliosis. back on the table for me, Maddie. And lie on your back for me, on your back, oh. your other back. <laughs> Dr. Jeff, what? Is, that, is that scoliosis? We don't know, we'll have to take a look, a closer look. We love Dr. Jeff here at Cox Sun Chiropractic, he is the bomb. All right, now rest your hands on your belly button. So if I press, let's start over on this side. Is that uncomfortable at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Compare this side. Yeah. yeah. Oh, which yeah, one yes, more? Well, yeah, which one more? About the same? That one. This one over mm -hmm. here. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's really that's yeah. actually really uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go out and do the thoracic adjustment with your hands over your head. Sure. Okay? And then we'll come back and adjust that first rib and your neck a little okay. bit. Okay. Okay. So, so we usually don't do this in the room because um, the table's a lot more comfortable for the patient. So scoop forward just a tiny bit, yeah, right? And so what you're going to do is you're going to put your hands on top of your head. You're going to interlace your fingers, and they're going to be relaxed. They're going to stay like that for me, okay? And you're going to drop your arms forward. You're going to drop your chin to your chest. And, and just keep your arms like that and come on back against my thigh. Yep, that's perfect, right there. Now, so from this position, open your elbows, but keep your hands there, okay? And, and have you ha have you been adjusted like this before or no? Like once. One time, mm -hmm. okay, okay. So you're gonna take a nice deep breath in and let it relax. Oh, wow. Okay, good, that was perfect. <laughs> Very good, now swing your legs off. That was good. Okay, now let's go back to the room, okay? And go, let's get, go now face down for me. So, uh, you know, I, I think anybody who spends a lot of time working at their desk that adjustment is amazing. That just frees oh, yeah. all that locked up mid-back, you mm -hmm. know, because everybody's with their head down working or they're on their phone. Those kind, of, those kind of problems really resolve nicely getting that function restored or that motion restored to that mid-back, okay? That right there is good. Now let your arms loose. Let them hang down to the carpet. I'm going to take that away because... Again, just relax for me. Yeah. Take another deep breath in. Let it go. Relax. Lift your head up for me a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, that was beautiful. Really yeah, nice job. Beautiful. That was good, yeah. So some of that becomes just, just, just it distracts you, but it also it allows me to get in there and sneak in there and get there like that. That was nice. That wasn't that wasn't uncomfortable at all, was it? No. Didn't hurt at all. No. E either one of them, right? That was just like like a marshmallow. Yeah, on your back for me. And I'm gonna adjust your neck. And in order for me to adjust your first rib, we're gonna have to take our mics off. We, we might do that off camera. We don't give all our secrets away. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, re just relax oh, for yeah, me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just relax. Yeah, I know what we're going to do next. It's the same idea that I was doing before with your mid-back. I'm trying to find out where there isn't a lot of motion. Is, mm. that, is that a little uncomfortable right there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and compare that side. Fine. Yeah, but this side right there, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite adjustments. It's called an occipital lift. Uh-huh. Have I've you had, had one it. of those yeah. before? Yeah. Drop your shoulders. Oh my god. <laughs> that's legit. That's legit. Wow. That's the real, that's the real McCoy. Yeah. So go ahead and stand up for me. Okay. I don't think we needed your mic. I think they probably heard oh, it on the other side of towel, so it's <laughs> Dr. Jeff. But what's really important is this. It's not the sound. It's, no, it's no. getting the right segment, the right area to move. I'm gonna check. Go ahead, lie okay. your back for me. Yeah. I'm proud of you for that one. <laughs> yeah, you can just edit that stuff out. Relax. No, just right, right here. Just relax. Uh, so that's supple. No, that's. So basically, uh, the this top cervical vertebrae and the skull sit 
on each other like this. And when I was palpating to see if there was motion, there was no motion on this side, or very little motion on this side between C0 and, and her occiput, right? And that occipital lift is just, it's such a wonderful technique for people who have headaches or neck pain. Was that comfortable too? Yeah. It sounded that was, loud, but it was comfortable, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. No pain. Okay. So now, that's part of it, but I think also, and, and we, can, we can do this the next time, I think we, we need to show you how to foam roll your mid-back. Okay. And you were doing some with a, with a ball, which is very effective. Mm -hmm. But I think we also need to do some uh, muscle, some exercises. Yes. To, to function, to work on the rhomboids between your shoulder yes. blades. And we'll, we'll show you that on the next visit. And that may, this may be part of the gold standard for someone who has, I think they call it like, it's tech neck, but tech neck is an upper back, or they kind of roll in there together, or upper cross syndrome. And so you want to get the, the joints to move. You want the soft tissue adhesions to free up. And we do, we do dry needling for mm -hmm. that. We do shock wave for that. We foam roll for that. We do some soft tissue release for that. Yes. But then we want to start to get some stability in there. And we're going to do that through some corrective exercises. Yes, okay? okay? Yeah. So yeah. this is good for right now. Okay? Thank <music> you.